I got actually a lot today. Yeah, go ahead. Let's let it rip. So okay, I I, I got I got a bunch. I got a bunch. I got open the book. For, first of all, open the book. First of all, I got a I got a tip a cap. Let me tip my let me tip our, our caps. Hey, I'm an Ohio it. State guy. Dude, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't. I wasn't gonna say it, but if you're gonna say it, I'll say it. Because uh, no, I don't want to hear the fucking. Hey. I don't want to hear it from from our friends here. But the the quitting in the middle of the night video was awesome. I that, I, I I didn't even see I, you, I I didn't see that right away. I just saw because I was like following along before I went to bed last night or two nights ago. Um, I saw Pat, Pat Bev. I'm a. I am. <laughs> I am a Pat Bev. Super fan. I'm you are the stand. I'm gonna get a Bucks jersey. It, like you're part of the Love Gang, bro. Hashtag Love Gang. He's the funniest guy in yeah. the world. Yeah. He's such a nice guy. He's so cool. So he's down so to earth. About it. Like he's. I've. I've. Oh, I, I. I tell Ron. I think I've said on the podcast before. Every time I see Ron, I'm like, dude, that's such a great show. I just watch the clips. I don't listen to podcasts, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And, I mean, come on. <laughs> um, but him strolling in at like midnight with a fresh off a game with a game tomorrow is crazy. But then when I saw a couple shots for the boys, <laughs> when I saw when we talked about Ohio State last time, I think I said something to the effect of, "It's easy to write the low hanging fruit." Like let's, can, can you, you make know, some real content? I, I, I said when the I read challenge. it, I was like, "There might be something there." Yep. And now, objectively speaking, if I was a scout for the blog game, watching, I yep. go, "That kid hits the hole hard." Yeah. Like, I, I don't know what's been preventing him for the last five years. I don't know what changed his life to make. But he, we, Tate sees a hole, hits a hole. <laughs> that, that's that's a, that's a fact of the matter right now. We we were discussing it last night. Either way, this is this is awesome. But I hope it's true. In his video, he makes a video in the car because he he coaches women's basketball at his at his former high school. So obviously he can play a little bit of ball. So there's a free throw challenge going on. He's like, I can contribute. He says in the car, he's like, I'll be there in four hours. I'm driving to, driving to the, the Chicago office. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, to my principal, uh, I quit. <laughs> now, it's, I think, probably not the, the truth. You know what I mean? Like, I actually hope it isn't. That's really rude to do. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it is. I think that would be so incredible. I think it's probably more likely, like, he said March 11th. That's like, I'll give you a month. And then I wonder if there was a conversation that was like, yo, dude, like, I'm missing opportunities. I'm um, just handcuffing myself by by letting like this month go by. Yeah. I, I got it, you know, and I gotta go. Or maybe it's all a front. And he's just back at the, the the school right now. For all I know, yeah. I don't know. But no matter what, truth, uh, you know, uh, more truth, little little bending of lies, little uh, white lies, and and poetic liberty, like all that shit, all of it. Well, well done yeah, because that is. that is also there's still very much a big contingency of, of Barstool fans that are like. Uh, and there always has been and there always will be of like, fuck work. I want to just quit and go do this. I wish I could be there. Like, I wish I could just double middles to my boss and be gone. And if he if he's just on a <laughs> – I mean, there's no way – let's say he even did quit. There's no way he found out from the video. But in, in Miracle on 34th Street, I choose to believe. <laughs> yeah. I choose to believe that that wakes up in the morning and the principal, somebody you're sending him the video is going, did you see – that Mr. Uh, Mr. Tate, Ohio Tate, is not coming in today <laughs> he should ever again. In Chicago. And he's like, "Wait, what? What? <laughs> like, who's gonna teach gym class today? Yeah. What are we gonna fucking do now?" The, uh, um, he's and the, definitely and then, a bit of a psycho. Uh, he's for, but so is everyone here. And I mean, the people I he's going up against I, he's, he's, have been. It's the psycho. It's, yeah. it's psycho versus psycho. <laughs> it's fighting fire with fire. It's a, it, it's you know two to three to four maybe psychos that have been fighting for the last three weeks. But uh, and then you know pressure's on. Like if you roll in and you do that whole dog and pony show and you miss, it's tough. Right. Stepped up and had he, I think two free throws. Did he? Yeah. I actually didn't even know. We I, we kind of discussed the, the free throw challenge previous episode. I was under the impression it was just like you shoot, I shoot, he shoots, she shoots. You're t -t 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 -t. Forty-one people in a row. Like everyone's got to hit one. The way they did it was a little bit different. Where like you can have chunks of people shoot, and so the better shooters can go at the same time. Nonetheless, still a a a difficult feat to achieve. I have I have also sixteen hours total. By the way, I want to do this, the free throw challenge. Yeah, not the free throw challenge, but I want like I, it's apparent it's a big thing now at Barstool with these long streams. I want in. 
I, I mean, you were the OG of the Christmas stream and the and the. Uh, oh, but those never those didn't have any objective. Yeah, yeah. like the. Uh, You'd be great at some of the the dumb objective stuff. I I texted I texted Grinnell and I was like, for hockey playoffs, let's do like one of these type things. Like, what do you think it's going to be? I don't know. Like, but we we like said making, like making a shot or like a. Like you gotta like shoot from the blue line or some shit. Like, I, you know? I think we probably would go post, but I feel like that almost mm-hmm. takes away the spirit because you're not scoring a goal. So mm-hmm. I said maybe a shooter. You could do what Frank did. Took Frank two shots. We'll see how long it takes you. <laughs> that wouldn't take that long. You don't think so? No. I mean, like it would. I wouldn't get in two shots, but like we'd all get it. Like if we had to trade them in a row, yes, that would take an eternity. But just to put it in, no. Wait, what? I, what would take an eternity? Like if we all have to hit in a row. Like that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. would be impossible. But putting it like in the same size, I mean, that was like the size of the puck, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, like that's a it, it. It wouldn't be easy, but like, I would guess a puck, a, a net is. I guess that's the kind of the equivalent of, pucks of, of shooting a half court shot for in basketball, yeah. kind of. Okay, yeah. So maybe, maybe that's not it. Um, but I don't know. But I want to do something like that, just to to fight, like just. I, I I can you're so miserable you're so miserable you're so miserable and then doing it it's gotta be awesome yeah this is this is what, the way Feidelberg instead of killing himself <laughs> he's gonna start to do these streams be like I, I can feel again yeah. you know, I, I can live again um, speaking of killing them oh wait but by the way j- before we uh, move on from the free throws the fact I've got a, a video coming out probably this week really the definitive video about. Dave Portnoy's deal with the devil. Just trying to capture all of it. Coming off of his latest Super Bowl win where he put up 500 grand. I might have to put that final free throw in that in that video. Oh, yeah. I mean, he shoots it with two hands. It's like it's like a field goal going wide right. <laughs> and then it just like doink, doink, double doinks, and in. It's like it was the, the worst basketball shot that has ever gone in. That had <laughs> no business going in the hoop <laughs> i think it defied physics i think it went backwards and up and down like he he shoots it with two hands and falls to the floor <laughs> right away his follow-through is him sitting on the floor and somehow it rattles in like anybody else in the world puts up that shot if i took a ball and shot it like that <laughs> and they and it, there's no way it's going in the For precedent Dave, has been set by ra oh my god what it, why it, it, does Ra's arms not work or something? I, I don't know why. I, 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 you, guess. I think you were the one who said it best. You're like, it, it looks like you're shooting a medicine ball. Yeah. <laughs> He's always like, you ever play Nukem when you were a kid? Was yeah, what you, is that? Like, it was it was volleyball, but you played with just. I, I'm conflating things. James Harrison plays Nukem with a medicine ball. Jesus. <laughs> but wait, Nukem is. What's the rules of Nukem? It's like volleyball, but you don't have to. Right, right, you're right. Just throwing it. And you I, catch, yeah, and throw, yeah. yeah. But you have like you can't like move more I don't than a couple steps. We ever lose at that game? I guess we were kids. Like, it seems super easy. Well, I actually it's so funny you say that because on my algorithm the other day was a, a a video called Catch Ball, and it's exactly that. It's volleyball, but you just throw it and catch it, and. It was just like a bunch of middle aged women, and like the caption was like "catch ball." It's like volleyball, but like easier. And it was a bunch of like middle aged, like frumpy women just like catching it and throwing it. And then like they're trying to spike it. They're like, <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, this is not. This should not be on the internet." Dude, speaking of middle aged, there was a video a Barcel tweeted of like football's over, so now my husband is watching middle aged men shoot free throws. Mm-hmm. Accurately getting called middle age. That sucks. Hurts. <laughs> Welcome like, to the fucking. That's light like, work. You'll you'll get over that quick. Well, I, I was like, damn. Oh yeah. No, we're middle aged. Oh yeah. <laughs>